it's my last shift before I break up for Christmas and I've got two of my kids with me. Yeah, one of the um, comrades, um, dad and one of his mates has went to go to Birmingham to see Clutch. Yeah, they're going to go and see Clutch, big rock gig and then they're staying at Mum's tonight. Um, thanks everybody for the suggestions about my packing issues. Dave has taken the overnight bags up with him, which means that I can fit all of us in the car now. Yeah. So one of you can go in the front and one, of you, and one of you can go in the back with the dog. Never mind, I'm not going to mm. shotgun. Who would rather sit with the dog? Me. I'm sitting in the front because okay. there's no leg room there and I have long legs. You have got long dog legs. Dog is awesome. So, ooh, we're sporting a Bohemian Rhapsody shirt. Yeah, Bohemian today. Rhapsody shirt. Like the gym has more charge than anything. So it's just us for dinner tonight. I thought maybe I could buy some lasagna on the way home. What did you say? Lasagna. Lasagna! Lasagna and chips for dinner. Yeah! Sound good? Lasagna's pan. Yeah. And spring. And I bought my... Oh no. Hold my chopped chocolate. Having some. I bought my knitting with me but I just pulled the needles out. No. Beyond is picked by yours truly. Yes, I'm on my last square. Oh, I'm completely off camera. So I'm just finishing it off and I'm using a bit of opal happy to complete my square. And then tonight, um, I'm gonna have to sort out what projects I'm taking home for Christmas. Yeah. That's about it really. You guys are the ones that wanted to record. Have you got anything yes. important you want to say? Some of the vloggers don't know this about me, but I'm a big fan of drawing. She is an artist. And I have an Instagram page. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, I'm a big fan of drawing and a big fan of Queen, as you can tell. So I just thought at first I was just doing some doodles. As you can see, there's the Queen thing. Freddie's up there. That's John Deacon. That's... No, sorry. That's just their hair. That's John, yeah, well, it's iconic. Okay. That's John That's John Deacon with his poofy hair. That's Brian May with his poodle hair. And then that's Roger Taylor. And then I'm actually pretty proud of this. My Freddie Mercury drawing. Mm. Yeah, that's cool. It's not the best. A lot better than me. You can definitely awesome. tell who it's supposed to be. Yeah. And to be fair, all you've got is one thick blue biro. <laughs> Yeah, yeah that that really well. if you really mistake your like one, well, this one is going to So I think we've got a couple of hours left, we close the four today, so we're going to go home, buy the supermarket to buy lasagna for dinner, and then I think maybe just chill out with a Christmas movie, and then tomorrow hopefully we'll head up to Grandma's. Justin hates Christmas movies. I hate Christmas movies. Grinch. Maybe we can no. just watch a movie with the Christmas tree lights on. Yeah. You, you watch a movie, you watch a movie, you watch a you do smell nice today. I shall this unusual. morning. Good day. Okay. I think that's going to be it for this session because nobody yeah. really seems to have very much of anything to say. Apart from my drawing. Apart from your drawing. Evening, my lovelies. We're back after work. Um, and I've got my advent to open. Day 22. I've just been working on my advent square, actually. I finished the second square and I'm just knitting on the border now. Ooh, Arucania Botany Lace. Now that's lovely. That is the exact same colour as a lot of the sunsets we've been having. Is that going to focus? There we go. That's really pretty. Thank you, Becky. So Dave um, is up in Birmingham with Conrad and Conrad's friend at this gig. The kids, the other two and I have come home. Um, I stopped off at the supermarket for milk and pizza for dinner because I'm too tired to cook. And I must confess, I'm feeling a bit flat. Um, it's been a really long month and I'm very tired. And I love Christmas and it just seems that this year I haven't had a minute to enjoy the build up. And now I'm in a different place to my husband and one of my kids. And I've got to wrap some more presents tonight. 
uh, make some mince pies. And I just, I don't know, there's no one to do it with. Hey ho, I've got one glass of red wine in the bottle, so maybe I will just, after the kids have gone to bed, I'll drink a glass of wine. I will cry whilst watching Love Actually. I am never going to forgive Alan Rickman for upsetting Sarah Thompson that way. And yeah, maybe I'll make those mince pies and maybe the smell of those will cheer me up. I'm probably just tired. I might film a bit more later. We'll have to see how it goes. Um, but yeah, first of all, pizza, I think. Maybe a full belly will, uh, will perk me up just a little bit. I decided to stop feeling sorry for myself and get on with the mince pies. And I'm using a recipe by Delia Smith. Now, if you're British, you'll have heard of Delia Smith. And this is a very old copy of her complete cookery course. And it used to belong to my mum. And when I moved out, I went to university and then moved in with Dave during my second year of university. She very kindly gave me her old copies of Delia Smith's complete cookery course because she treated herself to... They, they were originally re released in three separate books and then re-released in one big hardcover. So she very kindly passed along two of her old ones and found the third one for me as a Christmas present. So I've got all three parts now and I love that they used to belong to mum. And she also bought me... My mum and dad bought me my Kenwood mixer. So, yeah, I thought I'd get on with making the mince pies. I love my dry measure. Much handier than washing a million bowls. And Jim, the dog's come to see me. Have you come to keep me company? Well, we'll just have to get on with it, eh? I love there's a little window. Mm -hmm. 